In the environment, elevated levels of aluminum can kill fish and vegetation. In humans, elevated levels of aluminum are toxic to the central nervous system and immune system. Aluminum has been linked to Alzheimer's disease for over 50 years, and autopsies reveal high levels of aluminum in the brains of its victims. Today, an estimated 44 million people worldwide have Alzheimer's disease, yet there have been no clinical studies on the relationship of aluminum to Alzheimer's. In 2013, a startling discovery was made. When Alzheimer's patients consumed silicon-rich water, which aids in flushing aluminum from the body daily for 12 weeks, some of them showed improvement in memory and cognitive ability. This is the first time that any treatment has shown the potential to slow this devastating disease. Could this non-invasive and inexpensive treatment help those currently suffering from Alzheimer's and those of us who may one day? Dr. Christopher Exley, the world's leading expert on aluminum toxicity, and his research team at Keele University are seeking to conduct a larger scale study in the hope of confirming this. The study has been fully endorsed by the editor-in-chief of the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease, but because it involves no testing or approval of new drugs, there is little government funding available for it. That's why it's being called the People's Trial, because it is up to caring individuals like you to help fund this potentially life-saving research. Please go to the Aluminum Project on www.futsci.com today to learn more about the study and how you can help.